Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a foundation review. This will be a quicker type of video because I don't usually do dedicated foundation reviews. I usually include it with other stuff but I purchased the new KVD Good Apple Skin Perfecting Foundation Balm at Ulta and I was just at Ulta the other day um, filming for like a what's new at Ulta video and I saw that they already had this on the shelves and it was before the release like it officially releases today so I was like I'm gonna pick this up and do a video on it because I don't think anyone really has I'm really excited to kind of try this for you guys I did put this on last night for a little bit so I have kind of an idea how it works but I also want to test it again today just to make sure so that you guys have like a thorough review before you go ahead and purchase or don't purchase but yeah this is the new good apple skin perfecting foundation balm it is called good apple because it has apple extract in the formula which is kind of interesting I'm not sure what that does for the skin and I picked out the shade light 018 cool the shades were a little bit limited at Ulta I wasn't sure if this would work but it seems to work fine with like a little bit of self tan which I do have so it matches perfectly right now but I don't know if this was like already in the stores for a while and people already bought the shades or if they just have a limited selection at first but I'm thinking that you guys can get this definitely in stores at Ulta and maybe even Sephora right now or it is online so the packaging has the apple on it now KVD did go through another rebrand so now it's just KVD beauty uh, whereas before it was vegan beauty kvd vegan beauty it still says vegan beauty on the packaging so i don't know if their rebrand was the last minute or they just had this planned out way ahead and this is the actual foundation balm so it's in a clear packaging and they actually made this packaging so that it is recyclable so there's like no metal hinges or anything like that which is really nice they've been doing that a lot lately with their new products so that's what the packaging looks like on this and you do get 0.35 ounces of a product Product, which is definitely enough I know most foundations have an ounce but I think with like balms and foundation sticks it's usually a little bit less because it's so emollient you don't need as much product and um, it's supposed to be full coverage so looking at the foundation this retails for $38 and it says it's a buildable full coverage hydrating foundation balm with a lightweight longwear formula and a fresh matte finish so it's supposed to be full coverage matte finish cream formula and the apple extract in it, according to Sephora, is supposed to nourish the skin. Now on their Instagram, I noticed that they do recommend this more for combination in dry skin because it is very hydrating. And I'm going to test it out on my oily skin today and show you guys what it does. Um, I have kind of an idea of how it performed yesterday, but I'm going to try it a little bit different today and see. So let's go ahead and get into the application. The first thing I'm going to do is prime the skin. And I'm going to use my most mattifying primer since this does get a little bit dewy on me. I want to see how we can make it last. This is the Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer. Primer. This is one of the most mattifying primers that I own. I tried it with the NYX one yesterday and it was really nice, but I want to see if I can make it even more matte on my skin. This one is nice for oily skin because it almost like dries down to a powder finish. So now we're going to apply the foundation over top. I did apply this with a sponge yesterday and I really loved how that looked on the skin, but I do want to try a brush as well to see. It recommends either a sponge or a dense brush. So I'm using my Sigma F80 Kabuki and I'm just very lightly going to tap into the balm because this is like insane coverage already. <laughs> All right, got you guys zoomed in and we're just going to go ahead and work this into the skin like it's insane how this looks when you apply it it's seriously it perfects the skin so much and just it gives you the most perfect base so now I'm gonna go in with just a little bit more on my brush I think it does apply nicely with the brush as well this product is just very easy to work with I think overall um, my the sponge is my favorite but it did make it a little more dewy I feel like with the sponge and maybe this one looks just a little bit more matte than it did when I applied it with my beauty sponge. But yeah, this foundation is so, so beautiful on the skin. I was thinking of what it reminds me of. It does remind me of like how certain foundation sticks do look on the skin and it kind of reminds me almost of like the hourglass stick foundation that people used to love, but I feel like that one's not as good. Like I feel like this one's better because it's less thick feeling on the skin, less cakey than the hourglass was, but it does like the same effect. It just like 
melts into your skin and it covers literally everything. It's so full coverage, which is insane. I know the KVD brand is always good at full coverage, which I like because I'm a full coverage kind of girl, but it's full coverage without being heavy, thick, or cakey, as you guys could see. It just looks so beautiful. It gives it like a natural look still. So that's how it looks. I'll give you guys a close up. It's so pretty. It just, oh, I love it. I love how it looks. Okay, so then you can also use this for like touching up as like your concealer if you guys have any blemishes I just have a couple right here so you could use that to even go in with your finger and add even more coverage in those areas I probably wouldn't use it as the under eye concealer because it's pretty creamy it seriously looks like I have zero pores it doesn't enhance any texture and it has that slightly dewiness or glow to the skin which is really pretty so I am going to go ahead and put the rest of my makeup on over this so you can see the full effect. Alright, so here is how it looks with everything else on. The rest of my makeup finished. I did go ahead and set with my one size powder, which usually works pretty well with any foundation for mattifying. So we're going to see how this is going to hold up throughout the day. I will probably wear it at least five hours, five or six hours, and let you guys know my final thoughts at the end. I'll see how this goes goes with my oily skin but so far first impressions it looks absolutely beautiful and flawless on the skin so gorgeous okay guys I am back it has been a little over six hours now so I wanted to give my final thoughts and show you guys what we were looking like so here we are close up I still feel like it looks very beautiful on the skin and I really liked the way that I applied it this time. I think yesterday it was a little bit more dewy when I used the sponge as well as the NYX primer, but this time um, I used just obviously the Hourglass uh, primer which is a little bit more mattifying and I did it with the brush which I think also helped. And I didn't use any setting spray this time, I just set it all with my Patrick uh, Patrick star one size powder which seemed to work really well for this combination my oils are definitely not as crazy as they were yesterday when I tried it some points I wanted to make about the foundation though I know everyone is kind of going more towards like transfer proof foundations like if you have to wear a mask all day and stuff like that if you're at work or whatever this one's definitely not going to be a transfer proof formula I did wear a mask for a little bit I had to go to the post office so I maybe wore it for like 10 minutes and it didn't really transfer on there but if you're going to be wearing a mask for a long period of time you may want to try a different foundation but if you're just like running errands and stuff and you're kind of taking it on taking it off in the car stuff like that then it should be fine for those type of things which is usually if I'm going to be wearing a mask all day I don't even wear foundation because like why even bother at this point but this is just really beautiful on the skin it does not enhance any texture I love the glow that it gives and usually I don't do a whole lot of glowy foundations but I've been trying to embrace it a little bit more lately and I just think it looks so healthy and no cakiness anything like that I wouldn't say this feels super lightweight on the skin but it's not super heavy either it's kind of in between I can definitely tell it's there and it does like transfer too like if I'm going to pat my foundation with my fingers it's definitely going to transfer on there I don't think a setting spray would help because I did use the setting spray yesterday and it still transferred a little bit onto my fingers but it really hasn't broken up on the skin anything like that I just think it is such a beautiful flattering formula for most skin types but especially I think those with dry skin are really going to love this for me this is a foundation I would definitely have to touch up like midday with powder it started getting a little bit oily I'd say around our five so it honestly it did pretty good honestly I just have to make the extra adjustments to make it work for my skin type but it really is made for dry skin and I know for dry skin it's hard to find a really good full coverage foundation that doesn't like enhance any patchiness or dryness on the face and this one does a really good job and even looking up the ingredients it has so many good ingredients for dry skin in general but that's kind of my thoughts on the foundation overall I'm really impressed by this one it kind of took me by surprise I wasn't sure what to expect but this is gorgeous and I want to wear it like all the time it's so so pretty on the skin especially for filming I think it's just gonna be a really good one but I'm loving it so far. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. I will go ahead and let you go. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.